Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you today how to make a YouTube thumbnail from Instagram stories. I think all of us or a lot of people on social media have are familiar with TikTok stories and Instagram stories. They're very similar. We've all used them and it was, like, it was right under our noses the whole time. So I'm going to show you guys today. It's real simple. So you open up Instagram, you go to stories. There I am, guys. Find anything that would be a good, you know, thumbnail or something. You know, you can normally just take a screenshot of any video, this and that. So I didn't have one set aside. So let's just go with any pictures of me. All right, we'll go with this one right here. So this is just something that I randomly had to take a second to go and uh, make a uh, still frame of myself. But you could just do it of any video that you want. So there you go. You can kind of arrange it however you want. And then basically from here, the only things you really need on a thumbnail is, you know, a, a pretty much a picture of somebody's face. Like if it's you, then your face. And um, just some sort of teaser with involving words usually helps kind of a bit. It's also, so having like a picture of something as well. That, for me, those are kind of like the three things. And Instagram has honestly pretty good fonts. I'm not going to lie. So let's do a um, sample video title. So there, you, there it is from right there. But it's very easy. You just drag like wherever you want, you know. And if this is honestly a great font. You can mess with all the colors and things like that. Um, you could change it to anything. You could change like the way the background is. You know, you make it so like it's white with a background of a color or you can make it you know the main color and things like that i, I would always recommend like, anything to like give it like a shadow in the case parts of the video it's hard to read it if it was just one color so you do that and then you pretty much go on google and start downloading images that you want so you'll uh, hit this icon right here it's a little smiley face and you go down eventually you'll see like the right next to that 57 degrees is a picture and right there, it's like all your pictures. You could just add them however you want. You can go crop them. So like if, if there's a specific picture that you have with that would fit great for the video, you just go and crop it so it's nice and small. Normally, yeah, you could just go and crop it out, right? So I could just do this, you know, pretty much make it, you know, a good size. It would look probably a little bit better if it was cropped and then maybe something else on the other side. Usually, I kind of try not to leave too much blank space in mind personally while also making it not like super cluttered so you kind of can see what's going on. That's usually what I would go for. And then, yeah, guys, just whenever you're done, um, there's so much other ed editing that you could do within this app too. But uh, whenever you're done, you just go to these those three little dots in the right hand corner and you hit save. And then from there, you go back to your photos and there it is right there. And then you go ahead and edit. I mean, I'm pretty sure on all, like even Androids and stuff, you could just do little simple, simple edits like this. You could crop it so it fits right. Sometimes I'm like too close in the picture that I have and I kind of need to back it up um, or just make it fit, fit just right. So then, yeah, guys, I mean, you could fit, pull whatever you wanted on the left there and crop it and you are pretty much done. The only thing you'd have to worry about is that it can only be up to like two megabytes for the thumbnail. A lot of these pictures, for some reason, like when you take like screenshots or even these other apps and stuff, it just comes out extremely high quality. So we might need to like make the picture a little bit smaller in some instances, but for, for the most part, it should be great. But yeah, guys, that's how you make YouTube thumbnails easily from Instagram stories. If you like the video, like the video. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you guys all in the next video. Peace.